Hi, I'm Sanjay Nagchadri, Development Lead for the IBM App Connect Enterprise product. In this video, I will take you through the set of steps to generate and run test cases from the command line. I will run the IBM int generate test command to create a test project and test class using recorded messages. So before I run the tests on the command line, I'll give you a quick overview of a flow that is under test. So this message flow has four nodes in it. And I'm going to start the flow exerciser. And I'm going to send a message to the flow. So I'm sending an XML message to the flow. And the response has been sent back in JSON. Now, if I look at the recorded path, I can see there are three messages that have been recorded. So each one is a, is a message assembly. So the first message assembly has its message body in the XML NSC domain. The second message assembly has its message body in the JSON domain. And the third message, message assembly also is in the JSON domain and it has some extra data in the local environment after a file was uh, written to an output directory. So when I run the command to create the test cases, it's going to create two test cases. The first test case will be for the compute node. And the second test case will be for the file output node. And the reason why it's creating two test cases is because each of these nodes has an input message and an output message. So an input message can be sent to the other node and then a comparison can be made between the actual message and the expected message, which will be taken from the output uh, message assembly. So that can be done for the compute node and for the file output node. So when, we'll, when we see the test run, we'll see those two tests are created up and run. So now that we understand the flow and what we would expect to see, I'm going to minimize the toolkit and we're going to go through a set of steps using the command line. I listed the steps that I'm going to do on the right hand side here and I will explain each step as I go through. So initially they'll all be shown in red and as I complete each step, each step will then change to a green color. So the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, to create a work directory. So I'm going to use the command mqsi create work dir. And that's created my work directory. I should have said I've already got the, the bar file in this um, uh, current working directory here. And um, I've just created the work directory using the mqsi create work dir command. So that's the first step. The second step is to edit the server.conf.yaml file so that I can configure a new section in the configuration file which allows the location of recorded messages to be specified and uh, whether recording should be enabled or not. So if this is under the resource managers section and I'm just going to specify the location here where I want the messages to be recorded and I'm going to set this value to true to say that I want recording to be started when the server starts up. So I'll save that and uh, we can change the second step to green. So I have my work directory created and, and I have uh, defined uh, the configuration myself confiable. So here is the work directory. Uh, there's nothing on, inside the run directory yet. So what I'll do next is unpack the bar file into the run directory. So I'm going to unpack this bar file into the run directory. So I could do that using a new command called IBM int deploy. And that takes my bar file and will unpack it into the run directory inside the work directory. So if I press return there, I can now see that the contents of a bar have been unpacked into that work directory. So I can mark that step is done. 
Let's now start the integration server and specify the work directory. And we'll see here that uh, because I've configured the server conf YAML to record messages, there's a confirmation message here saying that messages are now being recorded and it confirms of the location that I'd specified. So I can tick off that step. And now I'm going to send a message to the flow uh, so that the, the messages will be recorded. So I'm going to send an HTTP request message to the flow in XML and I'll get the response back in JSON. So that's, that will have caused message assemblies to, to have been recorded. So I've sent the message to the flow. So I'm now going to stop the flow. And I'm going to run a new command called IBM int generate tests. So this takes a parameter which is called dash dash recorded dash messages that has the, the location of where the messages were recorded. I'm also specifying the test project that I want created and the name of the class inside that test project. So I've just run that command and it's found three messages as expected and it has created two test cases which we also expected. So I can tick that off, so we run the tests. So if I now list what's in my directory, you can now see it has created this demo test project directory. So that is for the name of the test project that I asked to be created. And what I can do is cd into the directory and I can see that it contains some Gradle files. So this allows me to build the test project using Gradle. So I'm going, I already have Gradle installed on this machine and I run, I run it now and that has built the test project. So I can go back to the previous directory. So I can now run another new command called ibm int package and by running the ibm int package command with these parameters so I'm specifying the location of a test project and, and the name of a bar file that I want to be created using that test project so that will cause this bar file to be created so that has successfully added the test project and the message assemblies to the bar file. So I now have two bar files in this directory, the bar file that had my application and another bar file which has the test project for that application. So I've built the test project and I've just packaged the test project into the bar file. So what I'm now going to do is actually create a separate work directory, so a second work directory. I'm going to call it unit test work directory because I'm going to run the unit tests in this work directory. I want to keep it separate from this first work directory where the application is running. So uh, I've created this new work directory and I'm going to deploy each of these bar files um, to the work directory. So using the IBM int deploy command and that will unpack each bar into the run directory. So I I have created the work directory for a new test. I'm now about to unpack the first bar file. So that's unpacked this bar file. Let me just show you in the Windows Explorer. So that was the first work directory. I've got the second work directory here and I've just unpacked the application and now I'm going to uh, run IBM int deploy again but this time with the, the test project bar that was just created so that's, that has been unpacked and so now I can see demo test project and the application inside this uh, second work directory called unit test work der okay 
So I've just deployed the bar file and the test project bar file. So then that leads to the very final step of running the tests. So I can run the tests using the integration server command. And I can run it quite simply like this. So I'm specifying the work directory for test project and specifying that the message flow should not start. And we can see that the, it is running the tests in the test project. It's found two tests and each test is run successfully and passed. So I've completed all the steps. And this shows how you could generate tests in bulk from your existing flows. So if you have your flows running in a server, you could configure your server.conf.yaml to record the messages and then uh, generate the tests. So uh, let's just recap what I've done in this video. So in this video, I've described the set of steps which are needed to be taken so that you can generate and run tests from the command line. I used the IBM int generate tests command to create a test project and test class using recorded messages. I used the integration server command to run the tests cases.